Eurovision, and on Saturday, I went to see how it all gets put together. Get on my back. How'd you do it? <laughs> <laughs> Not a chance. The Eurovision Song Contest is one of the biggest live TV events on the planet, pulling in 200 million viewers around the world. Each Eurovision winner is decided after every competing country awards the others points, and those points are sent in from television studios across Europe. The UK studio is this one in London, and I'm going to find out what happens here as Eurovision takes place over in Ukraine. And we start the day before the competition, on rehearsal day. Now, this isn't just a place where I get to show you behind the scenes. This is actually where the jury are making their decisions. I mean, that's a pretty cool thing. We're going to be here every step of the way. And so are you. Look, Studio B. Stands for Barney, that. This studio also provides all the phone numbers and commentary we see on the telly at home. And it soon becomes clear this is a serious rehearsal. Everything gets practised as though it's the night itself. So, as you can see, there's lots going on here in London. In Ukraine, however, there's a man on the ground who's going to have a chat with us now. He's commentating on the event. It's Graham Norton. Graham, it's Barney from Blue Peter. How are you doing? I'm very, very well. I'm, well, I'm excited is what I am. Can you talk us through uh, the sort of stuff that you do to get ready for the big day? Well, basically, I just watch the rehearsals. Tonight's a big rehearsal, though, because this is the rehearsal that the juries across Europe watch. So, half of the votes are decided on tonight. So, if you mess up tonight, you know, that's a big deal. This year is a classic. We've got it all. There is nothing else like yours. Graham, it's always a pleasure to speak to you. Thank you very much, and we'll see you soon. All right, cheers, buddy. Bye-bye. One of the most iconic moments in any Eurovision is this. Our 12 points go to the United Kingdom. Austria! Belgium! Dominic Kiev! Good night. The bit in which each country awards those all-important points, and for the UK, that will be done right here. On the night itself, it'll be delivered by a very special guest. But in rehearsal, Steve, the boss man, has said that I can do it instead. So he's given me some fake results to read out, and I've got to read some lines as well. So if you'll excuse me, I'm going to get into character. I'm about to be broadcast into the live rehearsal in Ukraine, and every one of the 42 competing countries will be able to see me. I'm actually quite nervous. And now let's hear from the United Kingdom. Hello and good evening from the United Kingdom. Uh, so, so may we have your 12 points? Yes, you can. Our 12 points go to Denmark. Thank you so much. Thank you. They're actually laughing because they didn't expect me to be there. You don't get to do that every day. And tomorrow, I'm going to meet the person who'll be doing it for real. It's a Saturday, the big day. The Eurovision Song Contest is tonight. Katrina and the Waves won the competition in 1997. I'm meeting Katrina, who has the honour of delivering the UK's votes. Katrina, you're here. Hello. It's so good to finally meet you. Can you give us a little insight into what it feels like for the people that we're watching on screen? Well, it's very nerve-wracking. The performances are just a three-minute limit. So my song was two minutes and 58 seconds, but it was the most nerve-wracking two minutes and 58 seconds of my entire life. I noticed last night there's quite a delay when you say something to when they hear it. I guess if you sort of count four seconds, maybe. Should we just practice that? Okay, well, I'll tell you what, why don't you... Why so, don't hello, you... Katrina. Oh, no, I was just practicing it, and we're... Good evening, United hello, Kingdom. Hello, well, we're here. Good. So it's going to be a bit like It's been that. a great night. Oh. Oh, okay, rehearsals. Yes. All right, good evening from the United Kingdom. Katrina will be delivering those scores to an audience of 200 million people. Before we know it, it's showtime. The Eurovision Song Contest 2017 is officially live. Welcome, friends, to the grand final. Being in this gallery really gives me an idea of just how huge Eurovision is. The songs come thick and fast, and how these guys keep up, I have no idea. But they do. And as the final act leaves the stage, so the scoring begins. Katrina, do your thing. And now, it's time to have the United Kingdom. Good evening from the United Kingdom. It's fantastic to be a part of this amazing show. It takes me back to 20 years ago when I won the Eurovision Song Contest in the United Kingdom. So may we have your 12 points? The 12 points from the United Kingdom go to Portugal. Portugal, 12 points. And I'd like to think it was those 12 points that really crowned Portugal's Salvador Sobral the winner. And there you have it. That was the end of the Eurovision Song Contest 2017. Portugal, the worthy winners. 
We've got such an amazing team in this room, over 200 million people watching, and it all comes down to TV studios all over Europe, just like this one. How much do we love Eurovision? Yeah.